Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you back to Super Mario 64. So guys, in the last episode we made it here to the top, and we made it into my favorite level, and we got 94 stars, right? So we're going up here to the top, we're going back to where we were, at the top. I have nothing better to say than the top, because we're back here at Tiny Huge Island, and we're probably doing... One of the most annoying parts of Tiny Huge Island. Everyone, welcome to Wiggler's Red Coins. Now, for those of you guys that have watched my Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play, shout out to that Let's Play if you guys have not watched it. Yeah, that's a pretty good Let's Play. I enjoyed it a lot. But no, if you guys have not watched that Let's Play, or if you guys have never played Banjo-Kazooie for yourself, you guys know of the infamous, the infamous engine room. The one that is just, you mess up once and you die. Oh yeah. This game actually has an engine room in there. But it's not an engine room, obviously, because we're on an island, and an, why would an island have an engine room? No, this level has a chasm. An instant death chasm. And if you get in the cannon, and you aim for this itty bitty tree right here, right? Just a nice little tree. You aim for the top, where the tree is just barely in like the little gray area or black area of the cannon, and you just hit the fire button, you're going to land on the tree, right? Perfect. Yay, you landed on the tree. Now, the game's kind of forgiving. It gives you an extra life because it knows how hard this area is. Oh, yeah. Just like Magic kazooie where it gave you the extra guy in the corner where it was easy to get to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys tell I'm a little salty that I don't. I really don't want to do this level. Or specifically, this star. This star sucks. At least for me, it sucks. And the next one sucks as well because we're both in the same area for these stars. And there's no checkpoint. Not at all. You have to re-enter the level. You have to go back to this area and everything. Oh, this part sucks. But everyone, welcome to Wiggler's Red Coins. Wiggler decided that he was going to have all of his red coins be, like, inaccessible to everyone. Because he's like, yo, you want coins, you're going to work for them. Because I'm Wiggler, and I like to watch people work. Because we both start with W. I wiggle, you work. W-W, dude. It's fine. But here we go, guys. Already six coins. They're not hard to get. The chasm is what makes it hard. And this is actually one of the hard ones right here. This one is not possible to jump to. You have to do fancy little flips or you have to do something else to get up to it. I'm going to do a little side flip because that's the way that I... <gasps> Woo! That's the way that I know how to get to it. Is the flip. So I'm going to try that. Please don't let me down, Mario. Okay. Don't let me down, Mario. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. I wonder if I can double jump to that. I've never tried double jumping to it. Once. Twice. Oh, I can totally just... Oh my gosh, that makes it so much easier. Just double jump. Now watch out the fire. This is why part of the level is unfair. Because there is fire here, and it wants your butt. But we got it. It's okay. Also, right here is a blue coin switch if you guys need blue coins in order to get your 100 coin star. Okay, jump down. My heart is racing right now. You guys don't even understand. I feel like I could have a heart attack at any second here because I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh, did I just... Oh, I did it. Right here is your red coin star when you guys obviously get it. I have to get up. Oh my gosh, I've done it. I've done it. Oh my gosh. One try. Holy crap. Just, oh my gosh. Just like the engine room. Oh my gosh. Banjo Kazooie, I summoned your powers because I said your name and you still love me as a game and I still love you, buddy. Oh my gosh. My heart is racing right now. Wiggler's Red Coins is done. Holy crap. I just made that look easy. Even though I was just saying how difficult that is. Holy crap. I do not care. I will take it. So, guys, next up. We go to Make Wiggler Squirm. Now, you thought his red coins were hard, right? Well, they are. That's the hard part of this world. No. Uh, in order now, you get revenge on Wiggler. Because you're like, yo, you just made me die like ten times to your simple part. Yeah, well, guess what, Wiggler? Now I'm going to get revenge on you. Even though I did it in one try. Thankfully. Thank the Lord and Jesus. The Lord and Jesus, you are my savior. All right, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here, and we're going to stop it, Mario. Stop doing whatever your little your little dance on the pipe is. No one wants to see that dance. No one wants to see that dance, dude. You're just like, oh, I'm going to work the pipe. Uh, uh, uh. Except it's more like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No one wants to see that, dude. No one. We want to get on with the story. Here we go. Flip up. Perfect. See? See, Mario? I'm sorry I had to crush your dreams as wanting to be a dancer on the side, but it just, no, buddy. There's a time and a place for everything, and today was not the time nor the place. Little Goomba, what are you doing? You're being silly over there. I'm going to crush you. There you go. Goodbye, Goomba. Oh, my. I got a coin for that. I did not realize. All right. Anyway, though, be very careful. Ooh. Be very careful on this plank because you need to get up to the top again. Just like the whole entire number area where, like, we had to go and touch everyone's hole. 
if we come up here again on Tiny Island, remember when I did this? We got this. Beautiful sound effect, right? It means something's unlocked. Well, when you now go to Huge Island, which is what we need to do, so I need to go ahead and just drop straight down. I need to come to this pipe. Perfect. Pipe, go! Take me to Huge Island. And now that we're at Huge Island, we need to go ahead and now go to the very top again. Which is nice. We actually don't need to go into the wood again, which is the, the good thing. Because that wood area sucks to have to get into. Especially with the chasm below. Come on. Oh, hi, Chuck. Yeah, how are you? Are you good? I hope so. I don't want to be murdered by you, so you stay there, Chuck. Yeah. You do you, buddy, and I'll do me. And we won't do each other. Because if we did each other, you'd pick me up and you'd throw me, and I would cry. I do not want to be the one to be Chuck Yud. Alright, so down the hole, and we fall onto a platform. Wow! You flooded my house! Why? Look at this mess! What am I going to do now? The ceiling's ruined! The floors are soaked! What do I do? What to do? <sighs> that makes me so mad everything's been going wrong ever since i got that star it's so shiny and it makes me feel strange everyone say hello to wiggler who starts out all nice and cute right but those of you who actually know wiggler wigglers are not ever nice and cute i can't take this anymore first you get all wet and then you stomp on me now i'm really really mad <gasps> And he gets faster and faster. But Wigglers, as you guys know, they have a very, very, very short temper. And they get more and more violent the more that you play with them. And this Wiggler is just the same as every other one. As soon as we can go ahead and... There we go. Oh my gosh, how many, how many times is he going to talk? Hey, knock it off. That's the second time you've nailed me. Now you're asking for it. Linguini breath. Is this the one that I'm thinking of? No, it's not. Where is he? Oh, come on, Wiggler. What you doing here, buddy? Do I have to like jump on your face? Is that what I got to do? Maybe that's what I got to do. I'm waiting for it. Ouch, uncle, uncle. Okay, take this. I'll give you the star. Phew, I feel better now. I don't really need it anymore. I can see the stars through the ceiling at night. They make me feel peaceful. Please, come back and visit any time. Does he not get mad on the 64 version? That might be what it is. Uh, see, again, I'm playing the DS version. Back when Wiggler actually had an attitude. Wigglers, for those of you guys that don't know why I did the voice and everything, Wiggler gets mad. And when Wiggler gets mad, he blows steam out his nose, he gets all red, his flower, like, starts the wilt and everything. Like, he goes completely savage. And Wiggler just, it's beast mode, man. Wiggler is the ultimate, ultimate beast. But here we go, guys. So now we've completely, believe it or not, finished the second floor. We're now going to the third floor of the castle, which is, I guess, the tower, is what Bowser was saying. We have to save Peach in the tower. So everyone, open the door with my favorite animation. I love it. Reacting to the star... <laughs> Got so excited, I didn't even read it right. Reacting to the star's power, the door slowly opens. I was going to say reacting to the power star, but I don't think they're actually power stars, to be honest. Toad, hello, are you going to give me a star? You should. Toad? 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 Talk to me, buddy. Toad, here we go. Wow! There's something strange about the clock! As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found, Mario! Here, catch! Nice! Thank you, Toad! I didn't even know if you were going to give me one, so that makes three. We need one more. Thanks, Toad. You are the best, buddy. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Alright, so that makes three. And now, as Toad was saying, I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you guys now. So, the big hand, if I can go ahead and get Mario Vision here. Alright, so the big hand, I hope you guys know how to tell time, but the big hand is the minute hand, for those of you guys that know what the quote-unquote big hand is. So what I suggest doing is there's actually a lip on the clock. Stand on the lip. I cannot stress that enough. Stand on the lip. The reason why is because where the minute hand is depends on how this level that we're actually about to go into is affected. If you put it on the 12, time is still. Everything is frozen. Nothing is dangerous. Next up, you go to 3, which is when the clock moves nice and slow. Just like tick, tick, tick. Now, if you put it on 6, it can go fast, slow, or not at all. That's if you're on the 6. I really rather not risk it for the biscuit, but you know, that's just me. And then finally, if you put it on the 9, it goes 
fast. Tick, 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 tick. So again, 12, slow. Three, or excuse me, 12, timeless. Three, slow. Nine, fast. Six, random. And if you guys don't know what like time is by the numbers, even though you can see them here, just think zero, 15, 30, 45 same concept but whatever anyway here we go i'm gonna go ahead and do what i said here get on the lip and you guys can just see how i get on the lip really nice and easy and when it hits the 12 we go in perfect it's on the 12. so roll into the cage and here we go guys now oh hi little bob bombs i did not want to deal with you Rhett. i wanted to go ahead and take care of everything first so i could show off there we go perfect double bomb but now you guys can see if I can go ahead and go in Mario Vision, everything is completely turned off. It's all nice and easy. We can just run through here at our own pace. Again, if you guys can't tell, the roof or the tower or whatever you want to call it kind of has a really weird concept where like everything wants to do its own thing on the way that you enter in the picture. I don't know why, it just it does it like that. But here we go. So we're going to, what, what is it, something about the cage? Roll into the cage. Rolling into a cage. Well... I wonder if it's at the top or something? I think there is one that's like at the very top. I, like it's called star at the top or star star o'clock or something. It's something star at the top of the clock and I know that. So I don't think that we're thinking of that one. Oh, here's a time. Okay, what's this one? That is coins, that's helpful, but that's not what I need. Uh, can I go into Mario Vision and look again? Mario Vision, turn around. Mario Vision? Oh. Okay, well, there's one. Um. I suppose I probably could have put the time on slow, actually, in order to got that one. But. Oh, is that the cage right there? Oh, that's definitely the cage. Okay, so I need to find a way to get up. Oh, okay, I need to find a way to get up. How about. Oh, there's actually a thing right here I did not realize. Okay, so now that I'm actually up here. Well, I didn't mess up. I thought I was actually a little concerned about messing up because I was like, oh, I missed the star even though it was right there. I did not mess up though. It's okay. Probably like slow time for a star or something. Oh. Oh! I know this one. I know this one from Luigi specifically because Luigi actually needs this one. Because again, DS version. Luigi has to do it. And there we go. Cage. Mine. Done. That makes four stars. So guys, with that, roll into the cage. Perfect. Guys... Thank you all so much for coming out, everyone. I had a blast. I hope you guys did, too. We are finally in the last area. Yes, believe it or not, this is the last area of this game. It's crazy, right? This is the tippy top of the tower. We have there, 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 and behind us, obviously, to explore. A whole lot to see. A whole lot to do. 98 stars. Come join me as we go ahead and get the last few, I guess, is what you want to call it. But no, come and join me as we actually get to 100 next episode, guys. We're getting there. It's getting crazy. It's getting real scary as well because the more we get, the harder the stars are getting if you guys haven't noticed. So, guys, thank you all so much for coming. If you guys like this, then like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, OGM, signing out.